Ani Buju Minogizhep, SCA, staff and students. Mr. Jones coming at you again here today on a rainy day. So we got a uh, we got a log um, that we're going to split up here. I thought I'd show you guys how I do it. This is one of the most manual things we do um, to get the stick. We want to get this log into pieces like I was showing you guys before that are like they're like this size. Something we can make a stick out of. Okay, so we got to break it down. It takes some time. It takes a lot of hard work. Uh, I remember having Albert and uh, and Alex and all those guys and uh, working on this stuff real hard too. And we we end up spending most of our time on the log and not as much time as carving. So we're kind of switching up, doing some more carving. So I'm gonna get started. Um, I want to take this time too to get talk to everybody a little bit about the game of lacrosse too. And um, you know what it means to me, what it means to um, my Anishinaabe family, right? So when I was in my undergrad, I got to teach, or I got to do my research in my, uh, I had a, like a 400, 495 research class. And I had, a, it was a sports history class. And through all my trials and tribulations, I decided to study the sport of lacrosse. So what I got here is I got a wedge. And I got like a little four pound uh, hammer I'm gonna use just to get this started. In. But she ain't no joke. These are nice, ash woods are really tough, uh, hard wood. Um, so they're really hard to split. Um, but once they get going, they get going. So. Okay, hitting all those golf balls really pays off. Um, so what I have to do is I have to grab another wedge here um, to get that in there to get going. I got a pretty good crack going. About to about here, about halfway or so. So, but one of the coolest things I always, I always thought about the sport was, was how it just manifested from the basically from the creator, um, and. Uh, and I thought how cool it was that it was a Great Lakes sport first. So that was people all around the Great Lakes here, uh, Wisconsin, everybody like that, started playing the sport. And we all started with the Ojibwe stick. So all the students that always see me walking around school with a stick all the time, you know, I'm always working on them, but I also think it's really cool, you know? So that was the original sport. That was the original team sport. That was original like object manipulation sport as well. So it's really cool to be able to do these sticks, but it's also a lot of hard work. And I wanna make sure like, I'm not cutting into another piece of wood down there that would affect the stick on the other side. It's coming apart pretty good here. Should open right up. Stragglers still holding on, but it's looking good. So I'm always wondering how they did this too. Originally, how they split that wood. You know, I don't have to use a rock, like an obsidian rock or something like that. But um, so, anyways, we got this in half. We got this in manageable pieces here. I'm just gonna grab my hatchet here. All right, so I'm trying to keep my area work areas clean as safe as I can. But you can see here, I got a nice, split that nice and, and I do have some funkiness with this one, which happens. It looks like I got a knot in here and I got some waviness up here. The one I cut earlier, the one I did that's over here and to the right is 
um, was the bottom, bottom part of the tree, which is the best part of the tree. Um, it's the strongest part. That's what's holding its anchor and everything. So this was above that piece. So it's going to be hard to work some sticks out of here. I probably could get a few working around the knots and stuff like that. It's just a lot, it's a lot harder to work. Um, so another th neat thing I thought about the game of lacrosse too was how it, how it migrated. So it, it would travel from tribe to tribe, from culture to culture, and people would, you know, develop a game to their, of their own and maybe make up rules or anything like that. But the original had no rules. You just had to score without touching the ball with your hands. And there's usually a lot of stake when you played lacrosse. Usually a, a lot of uh, bet wagers, um, either furs or arrows were real big. Anything like that, um, that would be a value were bet. Um, I'll get into talking about betting up at the uh, Fort Mackinac later. Um, but so these games meant a lot. Um, not only were they used for like, you know, to settle disputes between tribes over hunting lands, but they were also like a, the medicine game too. So if you had somebody that was sick or something, you could do a medicine game and to try to, to try to help them. So if somebody was sick, you could have a game in their honor. And uh, it was it was a way to uh, kind of please the creator and, and hope that whoever was sick was was would would heal from it. So it was also known as the medicine game too. So it's pretty cool. So you got these couple different reasons why you play. You play for hunt lands. You play for for to, to help the sick. You could also um, um, like in the Cherokee. If it was a Cherokee. They had to count coup. Um, so it was a way to count coup as well. It was a way for like a a young man to become a warrior um, and uh, I believe they played uh, they play with two sticks but they used to play guys versus girls too sometimes so the girls were probably pretty good as well um, but um, the, the game itself w was neat because these different tribes and different people would, would would embrace them themselves and well you didn't really know how to make the sticks so all the sticks start to change if you look at the, the Cherokee stick they go with the two sticks it's kind of a little more like teardrop looking, uh, which is quite different from the Ojibwe, but you just started making what you wanted and making what you really liked. Um, so the sport does migrate, it migrates south. It works its all the way, all the way down, like southwest, all the way down, like into New Mexico, down in there. And I believe it, it, it goes down into South America and that's where the game hurling comes from. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that or not, but pretty wild game. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to keep quartering this up to get it into manageable pieces. Looking better. I'm sure I'm not looking very athletic when I'm doing that, but whatever. So the, the, the game does migrate up into Canada where the Seneca really embraced it and changed the game. They changed the, the style of the stick. They, they changed the rules a little bit. They made it a little less violent, more artistic. It's pretty cool. Um, kind of the way the game of hockey's played now, but also the way the, the way the girls play the game. You know, it's bad to hit somebody with your stick. It showed you that you didn't have control of it or anything like that. So the Seneca's the one that changed the stick to um, Along with the Iroquois, they changed the style of the stick, changed the way the game played. Iroquois still plays that rough and tumble game. The Seneca plays kind of a more finesse game. But you can see here we got a nice log. Should make some nice sticks in there. Got a little wave in there, and I think I got a little, a little knot down in here, but I think I can get something out of here. So we keep working out, we never give up on a log. We can always make something out of it, whether it even be a little baby stick too as well. Um, I made one of those this year for my old neighbor who had a little baby, which is pretty cool. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys a little bit on how I start breaking these, these down. Obviously it's a good workout. My heart rate usually gets up to about 124, 120, 28 right in there. 
so it's nice, good cardio workout. Um, gotta be careful I'm not lifting too much heavy stuff, you don't wanna hurt yourself. But I just wanna make sure everybody's getting out, everybody's doing their thing. I'll keep coming in and, and give you guys a little bit of uh, lacrosse lessons here and there. I love talking about it, I love talking about the migration of it. I love talking about the, um, how it was just the centerpiece of, is, of some cultures. It's really, really cool, it, you know, and it shows why sports are so popular today. So all the sports that we have now, like the Super Bowl and the NBA, are all because of lacrosse, because of the Ojibwe. So I just want to make sure everybody embraces that, that lacrosse is your game, and all the other games that come from that, everything that manifests from the Ojibwe game is has its roots with the Ojibwe. So I just wanted to just uh, give that little lesson. I'm sure it's boring to some of you. But I think uh, I love the game of lacrosse. I think it's great. I'm not very good at it. My sticks are getting better, though. Um, but, you know, I just want to say Bama P, Chimi Gwich for, for this beautiful day. Chimi Gwich for this wood. Um, Chimi Gwich was a creator for, for health and, I, and my health and everybody else's health. So I hope everybody stays safe. We miss you. Mr. Sabu misses you guys. I'd like to give, name everybody's name off, but I got like 90 kids. Miss you all. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, my pee.